Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about shiny Pokemon. You know, those rare sought after alternate colorations of Pokemon that literally don't change any stats and are purely cosmetic? Yeah, those. This is just going to be a loose, constantly changing top 5 of my favourite shiny Pokemon. So let's get things started with number 5, Aegron. Let's talk for a minute about Aegron as a Pokemon. Its Pokedex entry in Pokemon Ruby reads, Aegron claims an entire mountain as its own territory, it mercilessly beats anything up that violates its environment. This Pokemon vigilantly patrols its territory at all times. Okay, now let's quickly talk about something called Verdigris. I won't go super into detail with this, but bear with me. Verdigris is a process by which certain metals, notably copper, brass or bronze, will develop a green coloration when exposed to certain acids, rainwater or even air. Okay, now imagine for a moment an Aegron that simply hasn't found a mountain to claim yet and instead wanders the land with restless, blood-red eyes, its armour dyed green from the constant exposure to the elements, waiting for the right place to call home, or for the right trainer to master it. Number 4, Jirachi. This is one of the simpler shiny forms on the list, but simple doesn't always necessarily mean bad. The change from blue to red makes the colours pop way more. The red and the yellow just sit a lot nicer and they please the eye a lot more. I think the rarity of this shiny makes it a lot more appealing too, with shiny Jirachi being one of the least distributed event Pokemon outside of Japan, as of this video's release anyway. Kinda simple and stupidly hard to obtain, yeah, sure, but there's a reason I put shiny Jirachi in my channel artwork. Number 3, Duskull. As if Duskull's design wasn't both adorable and creepy enough, its shiny form switches the typical black coloration of most ghost types in favour of a crimson red. You could see this more as a bloody spectre, but I just see it as a Duskull, except a lot nicer to look at. Similar to Jirachi, I think the change is really simple, but it makes the design pop a lot more. There's not really a lot more to say than that, uh, except for a fun fact, Duskull was my very first shiny Pokemon, so I might be kind of biased. Way back in 2002, on his copy of Pokemon Ruby, little 8-year-old Oshi captured a red Duskull and shortly after a purple Whalmer. From there on out he was destined to make very niche shiny hunting videos for YouTube. He was to hit the big time and someday hope to finally get his 10th subscriber. Number 2. Pumpkaboo. My favourite Pokemon and second favourite shiny and here's why. I love Halloween. I love dressing up. I love getting tons of sweets and I love seeing everyone getting out and having a good old time. You know what I don't like seeing? It's fucking spooky ass clowns, but that's a different story. You know what's more Halloween-y than a pumpkin? A pumpkin that's also a ghost. But you can go more halloween -y than that. What about a purple pumpkin that's also a ghost? Literally the perfect representation of Halloween. It's such a shame that it has to evolve into something that looks like Adventure Time throw up on a jack-o'-lantern. Honorable mentions. Here's one. Here's another. That one's pretty good. That's, that's pretty cool. Nice. No, you know that's not what I mean. My first honourable mention goes to Heatmore. Heatmore's shiny form looks exactly like the Pyro class from Team Fortress 2. That's it. That's as far as it goes. Number two, Manectric. Manectric's electric typing is complemented by an awesome black and yellow colour scheme, making it look almost like a thundercloud. That being said, Mega Manectric looks like the Zynogre from Monster Hunter 4, which is kind of neat. Wow. My final honourable mention, Mew and Ditto. Mew and Ditto shinies are the same, just like their original coloration, their weight, their shared ability of transforming. Pair that with the fact that they're both genderless, both share the same base stat, and that Ditto become more common in the wild the closer you get to Mewtwo in the Unknown Dungeon. I'm not gonna say that Ditto is a failed clone of Mew, but Ditto is a failed clone of Mew. Number 1. Star you. I love underdogs. I think everyone who's anyone loves a good underdog story. Shiny Staryu literally embodies the underdog story for me. In a world of 8,191 golden Staryu, but oh she, that's brown. No, it's not. Shut up. One Staryu is silver, and instead of being worth less, it's actually worth more, and is more sought after than the majority. You ever seen the first Rocky movie? Fucking spoiler: Rocky loses the big fight at the end. He he, go, he comes second. But you know who the audience falls in love with? The silver medal, the Italian stallion, Rocky Balboa. This is nothing to do with Pokemon. God damn it. Um. But, 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 Shiny Staryu is the silver medal that to you is worth more than gold. And rightly so, because Staryu are usually like a 5% encounter rate at most. So finding one that's shiny as well is just insanely hard. 
just don't ruin it by evolving it into Stormy. Anyway guys, these are just my picks. That's the beauty of having 721 Pokemon as of Generation 6. Everyone's picks will be completely different and that's okay. So what are your favourite shiny Pokemon? And are there any lists you'd like to see me make in future? Just let me know. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up and stick around for the next one. It really helps me to grow the channel. And then I can get sick of YouTube money. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? Thanks for watching anyway, you bunch of schmucks. I'll see you all next time for more Pokemon or maybe even some Overwatch or maybe even Team Fortress 2. Bye! Oh, also, the new Animal Crossing New Leaf update just came out. You should go download it because it looks fucking sick. Cool, bye.